As well as using directory handles, there's also another function which is a kind of function on its own that works in a very different way. That's why I didn't include it with the last movie. It looks like a similar function to the open DIR and read DIR functions, but it doesn't actually act on a directory handle. Instead, it changes the current working directory of the script. So for instance, this little line here would change the current working directory to the parent directory of whatever we're on at the moment. We could, of course, also use an absolute path to a specific named directory, such as this one here. Let's have a look at our text editor. And using the same script here, what we can do is we can actually copy this block and then do a change directory to the parent directory and print out, say, a long line here. And I'm just going to copy and paste in that same block again. It's always a good idea to avoid this kind of thing. Anytime you see the same set of code repeated within a script, is a time to be looking at replacing that kind of thing with a loop or with other techniques that we're going to find out later on in the course. Just for the purpose, however, of showing the way in which the chdir or change directory function works, however, I'm just going to include the two blocks of code in their entirety either side of it. So when we run our script, you'll notice that after the line of stars that I put in to mark out the point at which we've changed the directory, a completely different set of files is listed. And if we move back in the directory structure and do a directory printout, you'll notice that those are the files indeed of the parent directory. However, looking at our script, it looks like the first and the second blocks of the open DIR well, would be doing exactly the same thing. However, the dot here refers simply to the current working directory, and that's the same down here. By using the chdir function, we'll actually change what that directory is. So this works exactly the same as if we took this out and referred explicitly to the parent directory down below. Another thing that you can notice by looking at this script is that when we open a directory handle with the same name as a previously open directory handle, it simply overwrites the old one. So we're not really changing the directory handle here, we're actually closing the old one and creating a new directory handle with the same name.